Hi again, everybody. I'm Smart Ed. Time for another top tip. We have one of our smart certified field training specialists, Abby Valencic, is with us. And you're going to talk a little bit about the text tool. Is that right? That is correct. All right. Let's slide up into the uh, upper left, put the desktop down there, and go right ahead. All right. So, everybody, when you're at home creating lessons and you want to have a standardized text all the way through, also known as the default text, you're going to go ahead and select your A with the little red up in the toolbar and you're gonna see that there's six different fonts that you can choose from. Your default one is always gonna be the first option right here. So what I'm gonna do is go ahead and add a new page and by selecting the green plus sign here on the bottom right and coming up here to my little A, the first option, and it's a little bit darker gray so you know that it's selected. Then you're gonna go down to your fourth tab here on the right side, the little A with the color black, also known as your properties tab, and you're gonna go ahead and select your text style. And from here, you're going to change your font to, let's say, most teachers love Comic Sans. So we're going to go ahead and select Comic Sans. And here, you can also select your size. Let's go ahead with 48 so everybody can see it in the back. And then select Save Tool Properties. The other thing you could do from here is select your line style and select red and select Save Tool Properties again. So now you see as your default, it's the red Comic Sans in the font that's 48. So now I'm going to go ahead and select my on-screen keyboard down here on the bottom of the pen tray. I'm going to move this down so you can see. And I'm going to select here in the white area where my cursor is. And a text box appears. And I'm going to go ahead and type the word hello. And now whenever I text or whenever I type on the keyboard, it's going to be that standardized font that's Comic Sans in red and size 48 font. So that's going to change, so, so you're able to change the text, uh, the font, so that anytime you come back into the software, you'd get this font. Correct, because okay. we save the tool properties, yes. And that's the default font. That is the default right, font. Let's switch the uh, pictures here so the desktop comes up. Try it one more time. All right. So again, we're going to come up here to our font or our text tool the A with the little red line underneath. And we're going to select the first option. And we know it's selected because it's that darker gray. And we're going to come over here to the side tabs and go to your properties tab, the A with the color black. And from here, let's go ahead and make it aqua and go to text style. And let's change it to Euclid. And change the font now to 72. And let's make it bold. Again, you want to save tool properties so that it will save up in your menu bar under the text tool. And now you see that it's changed to that aqua green color and it is now the Euclid text. So if I select somewhere here, mm -hmm. we have a, a new default. So now if I type goodbye, it's in the other font, the new default that, font. The new default font, exactly. So we have hello and goodbye. Hello and goodbye. I guess it's time for hello and then goodbye, huh? You are correct. All right, thank you, Abby. Thank you. All right, that's today's top tip. I'm Smart Ed. We'll see you again soon here on Smart Ed TV.